G'day, Australia. Tim here again for Beef It Up Australia and Let's Get Rural. And we're in the beautiful little township of Baldale. We're at the Baldale Hotel and we're talking to Lee. How are you, Lee? I'm good, thanks, Tim. You know, mate. So, how long have you been here in Baldale? Well, we bought the pub uh, nearly two years ago. Uh, yeah, so March 2019. And we opened up uh, late November or in November 2019. So, we've just gone sort of 12 months open here. Oh, right. So, where did you come from before that? So we had, we got some connections. We're from Melbourne. So myself and my brother and our partners are involved in this in the hotel. Myself well, and from Melbourne, for a bustling little town like Melbourne, mm. to a big industrial city, city like Melbourne. Melbourne, right? Melbourne is a city. Melbourne's a city. <laughs> That's a big tree change. Well, we're not, we're not sort of tree. We're not changing so, so much. I mean, we're still we're still between Melbourne and and um, you know. Riverina yeah. and Coral and surrounds and Bordeaux. Um, but I said we just we are we invested here. We've got family in in How Long, which is you know, fifteen minutes away. We've got uh, we've also run a business there. We've got property around there, so it's not like we've just driven past the place and seen it. And gone, I think we're just going to buy a pub. So there's yeah. probably a little bit more to it. Yeah. So you've been here a few times and you've. I come here. Uh, I drank. I come into Bordeaux. I think first time I come. When I was maybe 16, next time I had my youngest, my oldest boy, and he was probably two or three, and that was a long, long time ago. And, and my recollections of that was, I think it was a, it might have been a football, like an Anzac weekend, and I remember opening, going through the door, and it was like the Wild West, yeah. yeah. It was like, you know, like the creaky door, and <laughs> everyone turned around and put their beer down, and the music stopped, and then, you know, yeah. and then back into it again. But it was really quite raw, you know, that was. Um, you know, 90s, so, yeah, that was the yeah, late 90s there. So it would have still been an original hotel, wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. It hadn't changed much since from then to when we took it over. Um, it's had a, not reincarnations, but it's had a few extensions over the years that it's, that it's uh, since it's been built. So it was built in 1904, or started in 1904, 1905, and originally named Carnsdale. Hotel, so this area was called Carnsdale. That's the same time the township was actually established. That was formed, yeah. And the post office was built in too. Correct, yeah. And and my and then the historians will probably correct me, but there was a, a conflict with there is another Carnsdale locality here, and there was oh, a Carnsdale okay. post office, and they had to change the name because there was some conflicting, um, you know, building that actually where to go. So I think at the, at the time there was a RT Ball, I think it was a dignitary grant here, so you got to name the town after yeah. yourself. However, there was a selection of names. Um, one of the historians here who we just formed a local, um, a local community committee, so he's quite involved in that, and he's probably, he'll probably correct me on that later on anyway, over a beer. <laughs> well, as long as it's over a beer and it's nice and amicable. That's right, and yeah. And have a laugh and a joke about it. Of course. So, because there's also a uh, football team and everything else here too. There was, yeah. There's some. There was some, uh, so the last football game here was 72, 73, 72 Premiership side. They won the flag, and then next year they disbanded. Yeah, so, I was, I've seen in the, the local history pages, 77 was the last one, and they had, I think it was nine Premierships and three runners ups. Pretty successful club, yeah, yeah. and Magpies too, mate. That's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because you've got, you got to stay the black and white, don't you? I didn't know until we bought the place, really. Yeah, yeah it's come with it. Because the original colours of the uh, Balldale uh, Footy Club was green and black. A long time ago. That yeah, was a long time ago, yeah. yeah. And there's pictures in the um, in the pool room up in front there, you'll see. And there is a lot of, we're fortunate, we've got a lot of history around that. The Wreckers are keeps a lot of the football and a lot of the cricket memorabilia yeah. out there as well. Um, but yeah, big names, you know, big old families here. Um, yeah, the long line name. Long eyes, yeah. Um, you know, they played here and also in the surrounds as well. Yeah. Um, you know, back then a lot of people sort of they did chop and change and play in different like Burridge, um, you know, towards Corowa, Corrie, yes. those towns. Because yeah. a lot of people don't realise that John Longmire, his family came from here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. His father Walter played in one of the first interstate games, New South Wales versus South Australia. In 1927. That's probably his grandfather. It was his grandfather. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, you know, Fred um, is still he's uh, still in the area, community farming, and he still drops in and has a beer. So, oh, right. yeah, we can catch up and talk about football. And uh, yeah. he's a he's a Swans man now. He's moved on to the Swans. So, I see, he's John's coach of the Swans. Yeah, yeah. 
So yeah. who do you follow on footy? I'm coming to mate, yeah. Good lad. Yeah. You know, Elijah. <laughs> yeah, not like the um the director, if you can follow us Carlton. Yeah, we've got a few of those um those Carlton supporters you too, they get they get stuck into me. Yeah, so they stay under the mat. Oh, they come out with the wrong team my way. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You've got it, don't you, but it's good rivalry. Well, football, that's a connection with football, you know, not just in country, not the city, country towns. I mean, as an example, obviously brought up in Melbourne, uh, around the outskirts of Melbourne, lived in the city, but now if you're in Melbourne and you live there and you talk to someone from the pub and you ask them what football team they vote for and they, they say, oh, I don't have one, then you, you're, you're a little bit strange. Yeah, you're on the outer You're on the outer route, but you've got to have one. Even if you don't have one, you just make it up, yeah. Yeah. Just wing it. So being set in the heart of the Riverina, basically, any rugby fans? Here as well? Bit bit low down. I think I think the I think league sort of maybe sort of Cootamundra for on that sort of line there yeah. for the right Wagga. But certainly yeah, no, not so much here. I don't think it's that got that um, that popularity. You know, maybe <laughs> AFL AFL because you know that was, AFL was a big um, this area was North Melbourne was originally a big um, draw card pool for North Melbourne back in the day, and that yeah. was the connection back through the long lines and a few of the other players. Also, I know back through the history of the footy club here at Bordale. Um, one fellow, he got dragged back from the Richmond Footy Club that he was playing for, back to Baldale, which is where he came from, to coach the Baldale Footy Club. And there was also another fellow, I think it was uh, Frank Jackson, I think. He uh, went out and tried for the Collingwood Footy Club back in the 1930s. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of, so a lot of good players have come from this area and these surrounds. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, yeah. And, and as I said to you, you need to, you need to talk to the old historians and some of the people who remember those names because, <laughs> yeah. What's your name again? My name's Tim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, the, um, I also noticed that there's an old school here. There's an old school house. Which yeah, is school. Living school in house. Yeah, that's so. Um, I couldn't give you the dates on when that was, when the school closed down, but you know, a lot of people that, um, that are locals that drink here, their kids went to that school, they've grown up in their you know, mid-20s now, so um, we're not talking that long ago. Uh, but schoolhouse with the old police station back up there, also near the schoolhouse. Uh, I was just saying, we've got the best post office, which is still in operation, used to be the general store. Used to be three banks in the main street. Used to be three banks. Three banks here, in up, yeah. Um, Three banks, one pub, one school, one pub. Only one, one pub. One school. Yeah. So don't forget to have the train line here because you catch a train from here to Sydney. Yeah, yeah it used to be, yeah. Yeah. So I think that stopped in 86 or thereabouts. I think they need some uh, wood cutters on the front of the trains yeah. to get through the I don't think it's going to be resurrected that quickly. Oh, but, probably uh, not. But um, yeah, so uh, that was probably, yeah, so th th this was a main street, obviously. It was a bit of a hub there with the silos yeah. and all the. the the, um, the grain coming through, so that's why it was uh, it was quite busy. We know it's the old church, not far down the road as well. Yeah, which is now somebody's uh, residence. Yeah, it's been kept in really good nick for an original building too. Yeah, look, and pretty much you know the same as a lot of the buildings here and and the hotel. It's uh, all these bricks are made locally, and I'm assuming the church down there is is similar. Um, you know, they bought the brick, they made the bricks just literally in the block of the road here. Um, a lot of the buildings, this building itself, was really structurally quite sound. You know, we had the yeah. white ants, but all the white ants just, they all ate the new stuff. You know, all the original things, they didn't, it was too hard. It was, yeah, more solid, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, so they didn't get to it. But, uh, you know, so structurally, this, the bones of this place have been really good. So all we did when we come in was a bit of a, you know, if you like the word, a bit of a term, a bit of a makeover. Yeah. You know? So that was all was sort of neat. But, um, that you know that that style that federation style is um, is pretty iconic and pretty Australian, isn't it? Yeah, it definitely is indeed. So you could use the old adage of it's like a bloke going to the haircut, but it's like a female you go to the touch up and some makeup. Some like that, yeah, yeah, some like that. Yeah, it just needs a bit of love, need to be just brought into the uh, into the next century. Yeah. yeah. So what's what's one of the things that you do you think that the pub might supply for the community and the community for the pub? Look, we didn't really, when we went into this, we didn't really, uh, we didn't understand or fully understand how big the loss of the hotel was and the closure of the hotel was. 
Um, certainly touched a lot of people, and yeah, sort of missed it being you know, around for such a long time and then to close for eight years. And then for us to open, it was, um, it was quite, um, I was trying to sort of, overwhelming, you know, to a point there where it was a lot of support from the people. So, you know, from when we, when we purchased it, we, um, we, I kind of had a look at the place and I knew the locals, I was told the locals had a barbecue across the road mm -hmm. every Friday night because of part of the chat. And a lot of people had built their own little bar and That's things in their sheds, yeah. you know. And uh, so, what well, this particular afternoon I was here, I was having another quick look at it, you know, making sure I was sorting my life away and making the right decisions, as we did. And uh, the cars pulled up over the road and I thought, oh, well, you know, no matter time, sort of, you know, we were pretty committed to the place then. So I walked across the road and uh, they all did stop and they and they just turned around and it's like, hey, yeah. so you're gonna find a pub, eh? It's like, maybe. <laughs> and they're so, a cool group of, you know, locals. That, so there was no pressure? Uh, no pressure, no. <laughs> so they, they were pretty excited thereafter and uh, and they're the same people that still come and drink here and, um, and support us and helped us out you know, in rebuilding the place and, yeah. you know, it might be from, uh, you know, we've got Jacko at the back, helps us, he's cut a lot of the timber here, you know, from um, old, from local fallen timber that he's, he's had stored there and, and also, or to, you know, like the uh, guys dropping us off, you know, sausages and lamb chops. So besides yourself and your brother getting in and doing every, most of the work, yeah. the locals have also got in and, and helped out yeah, as yeah. best as they can. As best they can, hands on, yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, you know, if we need a lend of anything, cement mixer, you know, we, we, and we really did try and draw on as many locals as we could yeah. here as well. Um, but uh, yeah, but then going back to the opening, and then obviously fully supported from the opening. And, I reckon and there would have been a, a few tears shed in, in the first day or two that you were open. The locals are, oh, yeah, there's a pub's back again. Yeah, there's a few guys there. I know Willow, um, Willow's um, a, a regular and uh, and he was one that was that certainly missed it, you know, for many, many ways. Um, and uh, he was, I, I think someone said he was walking down the, towards a pub that day and he's had this really, Cheesy, stupid grin on his face. You know, as if to say, as if oh, it's going it's home. It's back. <laughs> it's back. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and hopefully we have a chat to him um, after too, yeah. Yeah, so the the pub in the community is a saviour, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. There's no doubt about it. Um, there's no no two ways. You lose a hotel when you lose the the beating heart of the community. So they are, they are very, very important. And it's not about the business and it's not about the alcohol and it's not about the good times and music what's well, about the good times of course and it's always about the good times yeah about the bad times as well of course and it's a place that, and we've had we did we did lose um one of our members of our community here last year and we had a you know again had a wake across the road there and it was just a lot of, a lot of people a lot a lot of the same faces but it was good to see them all together and you know some, as you know Unfortunately, it takes those type of things to get people together. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. But um, a lot of good times here. There's been a lot of weddings here. We haven't had any since we've opened up. A lot of, a lot of um, um, people you know, meeting and getting married here mm -hmm. as well, which is always a good story. Hopefully, oh, yeah. hopefully okay. get a few more out of that. Um, it is really, there's guys that just come and, yes, they love a beer. But they still like to sit down and have a chat, and they'll talk to anyone that comes through the door. And it's good to watch when you're when you're behind the bar and you're just you're you're the publican or you're just behind the bar working, and you sort of get to watch it from a different view, yeah. know, as opposed to actually being there on the other side. And, and you see something new coming in you've never seen before, and g'day mate, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or g'day love, how are you? Yeah. And it's uh, that's just true Aussie character, isn't it? That's it. That's it. Um, that's it, and it, it's and if we and we always make an effort, and we always talk about our people and our staff that you always try and connect. If you got someone sitting over there and someone sitting over there, you'll do your darndest to get together and have a chat. You know what I mean? Yeah, say good day. Say good day. Yeah, yeah, because that doesn't hurt, does it? Doesn't hurt. It doesn't cost you anything. No, definitely not. And uh, one note, because you're sitting over there, you know, crying your heart out because of a loss or something. Yeah. Somebody else over here sitting down having a laugh and joke, or you know, wanting to go by themselves. Yeah, you know, mate. Um, I 
just come over and take it out of this one, they're having a bit of a hard time. And, yeah. You know, I might help you as both here. Yeah? Things like that. It's the same as a meeting place where community and the farmers can come in at the end of the day or the end of the week, have a beer, a chat, a laugh, talk about work, the crops, and, and catch up with their mates as well as the, the people behind the bar. Yeah. And, and also, as well as you've got the locals, we get a lot of people that come through here that'll come and visit. So it is a good, you know, a good opportunity for them to meet other people and and experience different things and, and yeah. hear about different things and, you know, sort of open your horizons without actually going anywhere, if that makes sense. Yeah, I was so chatting you to there. a young couple out there at the bar before, they were from Howell. Yep. Yeah. And I think it was the first, their first time here as well. Oh really? I think so, yeah. Yeah, well there you go. I mean, that's, there's so many people that have been lived so close who have never come to Boulder. Yeah, and that's one of the things that really like, they said it's what, 15 k the road? Yeah. And you've got other towns, Corral was 18 k down the road and so forth. They just need to get out and get into a smaller place, visit the, the local community and spend a couple of dollars in the pub with a meal, a cold beer, say good day. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, just a, a, just a week of day trip, you know, come out. You don't have to have meals, come out and have a couple of beers and sit down and uh, enjoy the uh, enjoy the beer and enjoy the music. And that's what keeps the, the pub alive. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And saves the community. Yeah, well, I'm not the saviour, you know, but. No, it's the people that come in, uh, spend their dollars, save their aid. That's right. Just for a day visit. Yeah. All right, and you said something about you yeah, working on getting accommodation. We've got eight rooms here, so we've been, we've been really trying to get them started. We're, we were sort of holding up in there for a few months, uh, late last, you know, late yeah, last year. With the crap. Yeah, <laughs> so we, uh, we would like to start them earlier. So we've got eight rooms there and we've got some grass area down the side of the pub for just for some camping and swags and tents oh, and cool. bits and pieces. So Because there's a lot in the area surrounding yeah, there is, there's a bit. Get out and have a look at it and then come back. There is, yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. we're only, you know, we're only 10, 15 minutes from the river. Down here. Oh, right. Which Murray. one's that one? Oh, the Murray. The big one, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Any fish in there? No, no, I haven't. I've tried a lot. Yeah. Gets in the way, gets in the way of other stuff. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> you, you can uh, multitask, fish and rod, beer. Yeah, no, there's a few of the guys, and like every one of the farmers here, they've only, the last couple of weeks, they've had their time off. It's been a big harvest up here. Yeah. Which is fantastic, you know. Last. You know, it's been tough probably the last three or four years, and we sort of understood the back end, end of it since we got here and really understood the farming ways and the farming needs and, and how they work. And it's really good to see them um, have a, a good good harvest and a good year, and it, it just rubs on a finger and you can see the smiles on their faces. And so that's, that's another big bonus with the pub, with the, the yeah. farmers around here with their harvest, yeah. to see somebody come in, take the time, and give it back the love and everything else. and reorganise and reopen the pub yep. for the community and for the farmers and not only them but for yourself as well. Meet new people, make new friends, continue old friendships that you've made at some stage yep. and breathe life back into the community. Yeah. The uh, absolutely, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. The uh, I don't know, I can that many times I've seen like I said, you've been on one side of the bar, you've seen someone walk in and someone said how you going, mate? I haven't seen you for 15 years. So where else? If you can't meet someone in that time, where else are you going to see them? That's right. Yeah. We were at one place there a while ago. Um, we were in there and we were talking away to, to the publican. Yeah, having a good old chat. And they said, well, the good thing about the pub, because this one was shut for a few years as well, and he breathed some new life into it, yep. reopened it. The community said, oh, well, it's open. A fellow from down the road comes in. The pub had only been shut four or five years, I think. A fellow down the road comes in. And they said, G'day mate, you haven't had a team you here before? He said, no, nope. last time I was in here was 40 years ago. So where are you from? Yeah, six it's years down. down the road. So why, you know, so, oh, I just had a bit of a fall on that with one of the other guys here. And, and he said, uh, that day that that fellow came in, the fellow that he had a fall out with, came in on the same day, as, you know, mate, how you going? Yeah, not bad. It's all under the table now? Yeah, mate. Cool. But 40 years in between That's since right. he'd been in the pub, and he'd always gone to another town to get his beer to drink at home. Yeah, yeah. But now that uh, the pub was open again, so I had new people in there, they, yeah, we'll go and find out. 
They said now they go in there regular. Yeah, it's it's a common theme, Tim. It is a common theme, and yeah, for sure. Yeah, you hear, hear it a lot. See it and hear it a lot. So, um, yeah, you, you put that in place that importance on on hotels and and, and what they do from that, that respect, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And one other thing with hotels as well, especially in little communities like yeah. this, besides the beer, yeah. <laughs> um, it's good for mental health and depression and anxiety and yeah. in the community. Yeah. You know, farming um, farming's hard work, yeah. A lot of the guys maybe you know single or not have large families here or they have families elsewhere and they work away so you know hotels and um, local pubs are, are a place for them to come and and certainly have a chat and um as i said before talking about how their how their crops are going how they can improve and what yep. they can do um whether they need to they need a piece of machinery they can source it you know mm -hmm. sort of definitely and if they're single, it also gives them somewhere to go and chat with somebody as well. Yeah. Because when you're single and you've got mental health issues because of bad crops, drought, fire, flood, yeah. COVID, the pub and the publican gives them somewhere and out to go and have a chat, a cold beer, somebody to talk to. Yeah, we had um, we've had a, um, a chap come in here oh, quite a few, a few times, and uh, he said, yeah, he had PTSD. So he's come back from doing a bit of a, a tour and, and um, he's getting through it. He's just traveling around with his dog, just working. Mm -hmm. And he's come in, he come in a couple of times. And um, and I, at the time when I seen him, I said, how you going? I can't remember his name now, I can't see, no, you can see right. his face, but I'll call him Tim. I said, how you going Tim? And he goes, he goes, Lee, he goes, you remember my name? He goes, I said, yeah, of course mate. I said, you've been here a couple of times, you know, we've had a good chat. And uh, he told me his story the first time, and I, I remember that. And um, so, yeah, they're, they're the good news stories, and, and you want to keep seeing those people coming back. Oh, so, definitely. Yeah. But you also get your bad news stories from out on farms and everything else as well, from yeah. tragedies and, yeah. and things. And then, once again, the pub and the publican, uh, they've got to know those people, but they've also provide a shoulder for the family as well. Yeah, the, um, you know, there's been, has been a few farming deaths this year in local surrounds and uh, you can just see not, not so much not that close to you to, to Waldale but certainly they, they really rally around rally around the families and uh, you know they might do a they might finish off the harvest or they might help out with harvest or something like that yeah. so um, yeah it is it's great to watch it's great to see we've heard something similar about that uh, when we were in another town that um, the farmers were out there doing their harvest and there was a fire at a, a neighbouring property. Yep. All the farmers in the district down tools, labelled their trucks, where they finished, into the utes, straight out to help that farmer battle the fire and they got it out. And at the end of the day they said, well, we'll finish the harvest off tomorrow, we're going to have a beer, let's go. Yeah. And yeah. That, that's community, that's helping Absolutely, each yeah. other out. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, it has to be done. Definitely. Yeah. All right, and for you and your partner to come down here from Melbourne and how long, family up there in Corowa, to come here to this little community and breathe fresh life back into a pub that's been shut for eight years and to give something back to the community, somewhere for them to go and meet and have a chat and a cold beer, mate, that's bloody fantastic. Thanks, mate. It really is indeed. Yeah. I've got one more thing to ask you. Sure. It's probably the hardest question you've ever been asked. Yep, sure. What does community mean to you? Uh, oh gee, there's a lot of words can go around the community, can't there? You know, spirit, um, friendship, mateship, um, love. Um, there's just so many things that sort of pop into your head. I, I, I think the feeling you get out of seeing other people um, enjoy themselves, um, living a good life, and having a smile on their face in your own, just, you know, talk locally in community, in yep. your local area, I think that's, uh, that's priceless, yeah. And in a community like this, it's family. It is, yeah, it becomes family, yeah. You know, and we, we've, we've um, made a lot of good friendships that will last forever, yeah, just through being, we've only been here for a couple of years, yeah. Most definitely, and I've only met you today, and I can already say a friendship, you know, man. Thanks, mate. Right on your lead. Cheers, thanks, thanks man. Yeah, appreciate it.